Hey, Josh here from Kelford Cams, and today we're gonna to be talking about valve guides. Last time, we spoke about camshafts. Camshafts and valve guides have a close relationship in the engine. Camshafts move the follower, the follower moves the valve, and the valve guide supports the valve. The valve guide is found in the cylinder head. As the name suggests, the valve guide guides the valve. Without the valve guide, this valve would just flop around in the cylinder head. So how does it work? Well, the valve guide is pressed into the cylinder head. It's found between the spring seat and the valve seat. The valve guide is pressed into the head casting. It protrudes into the port and the upper part of the cylinder head. Its job is to support the valve in operation. The valve guide also has some other tasks. It supports a valve stem seal on the top here. That valve stem seal's job is to stop any oil coming back down the valve guide and into the cylinder head port. If we had oil come down here, we'd have a smoky engine. The internal combustion engine creates a lot of heat. The valve guide can also help by transferring some of the heat from the valve, through the valve guide, and into the cylinder head. Then this heat can then dissipate into your cooling system. Valve guides come in a lot of different shapes, sizes, and materials. I have an OEM item here, this is cast iron. And cast iron is used for the ease of manufacturing. Alloy bronze, or manganese bronze, the material that Calford uses, is a great aftermarket performance option for the use in race engines. So bronze is a superior material for dissipating heat and has better wear characteristics over cast iron. <coughs> Calford Cams offers a stopper valve guide option. This stopper incorporates a section of the valve guide that has a flange. When this flange meets the guide boss, it stops. The name stopper has come from the function of installation. You can see the difference from the two valve guides here. So what does the valve guide choice matter? Choosing the correct valve guide and understanding the installation process is important. So Calford Cams uses state-of-the-art turning centers to create precision machined valve guides for the highest tolerance available. Valve guides need to be pressed into the cylinder head so they don't move in operation. The head should be heated to around 100 degrees C and the guide should be cooled. This helps by increasing the sizes between the two parts and allows for easier fitment. Because of the size difference, the internal diameter of the valve guide can be distorted when fitted. So we recommend finishing the ID of the guide to suit the valve that you are using. So best practice is to use a hone, but a ream will achieve an acceptable finish also. So that concludes what is a valve guide. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section and keep an eye out for the next episode.